Estimates are that livestock produces about 18% of the total man-made climate change gases. Interestingly, this amount is actually produced both in developed and developing countries. A billion people's livelihoods are attached to these livestock-related emissions, particularly in Africa and Asia. Many of these people have no or very few alternative income sources. The total greenhouse gas emissions from developing countries, both in total and per capita, are relatively low. A significant part of this low amount, nevertheless, does come from livestock. Improving feeding is one of the key interventions to improve the efficiency of livestock systems, i.e. to produce less methane per kilo of output. This allows us to reduce pressure on natural resources, particularly tropical forests. In poor countries, farmers don't have access to good feed supplements, to good roads, to credit, to finance the production. So if we enhance all those factors, then farmers will, out of their own interest, feed animals more efficiently and thus reduce methane. Looking at the livestock emissions as a whole, if you aggregate that into one, you're missing this big difference between developed and developing countries. And what we're saying is, to design policies, you really need to clearly separate the problem. In developed economies, which mainly have a commercial livestock sector, there are a range of policies and instruments we can apply to reduce emissions. Reducing the livestock-related greenhouse gas emissions in poor countries is possible, but we need to be aware of the stark trade-off. We might end up with lots more poor people and lots more hungry children. 